Hello, welcome. I'm gonna do this very vulnerable video because I have found a really powerful healing treatment that I love, it's accessible to everyone, and a lot of my friends have been asking me about it lately and I've been sharing about it and I thought, let me just do a video of how I'm using castor oil for so many health benefits in my body. All right, the first thing I learned to use castor oil for was from my colon hydrotherapist and I used it on my abdomen. I have since studied this to find out like major, major health benefits for women, not only with GI stuff, constipation, detoxification, but also cramps, PCOS, um, like major menstrual, even infertility. And the reason is castor oil is an oil that powerfully like sucks out all the toxins, inflammation, and just helps your body like release toxins from the body. So there are, um, different ways you can use like a pad over on top of the castor oil when you put it on your abdomen. But I actually don't even do that. I usually sleep with like a tank top on and it just doesn't get that greasy. So I use like a quarter size amount. Can you see that? Maybe a quarter size amount. It's not that much. Take your rings off before you do this. And then I rub it like all around my liver and all around my abdomen. And I'll use that whole thing for the whole abdomen. And it's like enough. I mean, I poop in the morning, like very, very easily. And it makes a huge difference. Get all the way down like the lower pelvis, especially if you've got stuff with fertility, ovaries, um, and menstrual cramps, PMS, PCOS, like it's going to significantly help make a difference. So that's the biggest thing I would say. You can like put a towel over it and then put your shirt on and go to sleep. Okay. So that's kind of a universal thing. The other thing I wanna say before I go to all the other uses I have since found for castor oil that are blowing my mind uh, is that you've gotta get it in a glass bottle. Castor oil leeches out. It will like powerfully suck out toxins and inflammation and whatever, but it's also gonna powerfully suck out like the plastics, the components in the plastic. So you have to get glass and you wanna get glass that is like dark color, either brown or blue or whatever. Um, Queen of Thrones, they have a really good one. You can get it on Amazon. I got this one on Amazon, uh, the Goodbye Company. I'm not like advocating a certain brand, but the, it is super important. You have to get it in a glass bottle. All right, I'm gonna do another dollop <laughs> and I'm gonna put it, this is like head and neck stuff. I've had this crazy neck pain for a very long time and i doing a lot of things to like work out the tension and the knots. And then someone told me castor oil is really great for like inflammation, trauma, knots, blah, blah, blah. And I have not had a headache or like those kinds of like neck pain and knots and stuff since using it. I, the other day did have something over on this right side and I used this and it went away. So I was like, are you kidding me? Um, I then, so I like rub it on both shoulders. I'm kind of like a fiend about this now because I just love it. So I'll do that. And then I do the back of my hair. Okay, I did have someone, and you're gonna see lots of videos out there about put castor oil in your hair. Oh my God, my hair grew and it's stronger. And like, that's awesome. I was like, I'm gonna do this. And I did it twice and my, it's so greasy. It's almost like it didn't wash out of my hair for like a month. My hair is super porous. It will just drink it all up. I'm not gonna put castor oil like that, maybe without a carrier oil at least, ever in my hair like that again. But I do just kind of rub it in the back because I've had breakage. Okay, so that's what I do there. The other thing that is freaking blowing my mind is I get just, this is what I'll do. I'll just like dump it upside down like that to get a little bit on my fingers. I put on my eyebrows. You can also do your eyelashes and people have had like amazing results with growing their eyelashes. It's like pulling it out. That's how I think of it. I have seen results with my eyebrows, which is so cool because I've always had really thick eyebrows. I really like it. I noticed they got thinner in the last few years and I, I was like, oh, that's a bummer this made already a difference within like a couple of weeks. Okay, so that's my next little go-to. Um, okay, this is another thing. I've had this really, this is why I was so excited to make a video. I've had this weird little like 
chondrodysplasia, I think it is. It's a, 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 a thing. <laughs> And they call it like telephone operator's ear. Basically, I had this nodule on my ear and it was a couple years ago. And I was like, oh no, is this something very concerning? And then it started hurting when I'd sleep. So I went to a really good friend of mine who's a plastic surgeon and he's like, oh my gosh, Kim, this is not anything concerning. We can excise it surgically or you can just like sleep with a foam pillow or like a silk pillow. And I was like, Oh, really? He's like, yeah, this is like a callus. Some people get, you know, if you're using the phone on your ear, which I do use on the left. Anyway, I've been using the castor oil on it and, and I just kind of like didn't do much about it, but it does hurt. Like every night when I lay on that, it will hurt. In the last couple weeks, I've been using castor oil. It hasn't completely gone, but it is dissolving and it doesn't hurt anymore. So I can make a follow-up video for this and another thing I'm gonna tell you about because I do think these are both going to resolve. And I've heard like other stories, people using castor oil. So I don't usually take that much time to rub it on there, but I rub it on that little spot and already it's like, dissolving that and I'm thinking I would have had a surgery for this I was having pain every day like so many things that there are natural solutions for we can share with each other because it's not going to come from the system it's going to have to come from like individuals disseminating this kind of information all right the next thing oh you can rub it on your nails like <laughs> it's sticky and it's thick and I was like oh I'm not going to rub this all over but the more I've been using it doesn't even phase me. It actually absorbed into my skin really quickly. So I just like put it everywhere. This is the mind blowing part. So years back, I started doing backcountry skiing and I had to get AT ski boots, which are all terrain. So you have a special setting on them that you can hike in the ski boots and like move your ankle better. And I had gone on a backcountry ski trip without AT boots and like left behind, literally left behind on the mountain. It was one of the scariest experiences of my life. That's another story. But as I decided, like, I really like this backcountry skiing stuff, I got the right equipment. I got the AT boots, but I was ill fitted in these boots and I didn't know it. I had it in my idea that, well, these are like supposed to be uncomfortable. They're, I don't know why I had that, but I just really thought like, this is like, the, the real deal and like you're not supposed to be comfortable and it killed my feet and I ended up getting um, Can you zoom in on this? This is kind of not the most, you know, sightly thing But can you see that little thing? So it's like a bump right there has been driving me crazy for years because every time I would just be so miffed that this woman fitted me so poorly and like didn't really listen to me and then I wore the boots and it's been that nodule like just for the, you know, just doesn't go away. Now I've been rubbing castor oil on this because I heard this is, and I have another little spot too because the other foot right here, that developed a little nodule as well. Anyway, I'll take pictures of these to show before and after because today in yoga, I, you know, you look at your feet a lot, you're in yoga. I was like, are you kidding me? They are so much smaller. And I know it might only be like micrometers smaller because I would notice that I look at my feet every day, but it is unquestioningly smaller. And so the understanding I have for that, it's like sucking out, you know, if there's a, a calcification that doesn't need to be there, it's actually healing the tissue. So I had done a lot of things for these nodules and like they didn't get any smaller at all. They are unquestioningly smaller. So every night I rub them on those little spots, but you know what, while I'm at it, I just, I rub it. So I do the callus, like that spot on the back. We live in a super dry environment, so my feet get really dry. And I have found they're so much softer, like just in one use, just out, like the next morning, it was noticeably so much softer. So I do my feet and I recently learned, I just started doing this one, but that it's really good to help if you have like cellulite saggy skin so that's why i put shorts on for this video is because i started doing i mean i turned 50 and i just want my body to like stay as healthy as i can keep it so that like you know if you get like ripply or i cellulite some people have cellulite you're just kind of sucking out all the toxins and why not so you can do the back of your leg <laughs> get some on there 
I use myself up now before I go to bed. You could add an essential oil because now it doesn't smell bad, but not a bad idea since you're greasing up your whole body if you're like me. So that's what I do. By the time I'm done and ready to go to bed, it doesn't get on my sheets. A lot of it gets already absorbed. Um, rub it on your face. There's a lot of benefits for anti-aging. I shared with some of my friends today whose kids are having problems with acne. It is powerfully antibacterial, antifungal. I used it on Jenna the other day on her face. There are anti-aging benefits. I will have to do a follow-up video to speak to that because I haven't been using it on my face long enough <laughs> to, to speak to that. But I did say immediate changes in Gemma's skin the morning after we used it. She's had like dry patches and red patches and she gets a little like breakout completely resolved the next morning. So I would highly recommend, and I've seen many examples of severe, severe acne psoriasis, eczema, resolve with this. So, castor oil is your new miracle. I'm super excited to share this. If you have questions, you can put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to do like a fun follow-up video to share the exciting conclusion. Thank you.